What is device encryption and do you actually need it? Welcome to Safe Sex Sunday, where I take you through quick protection methods that you can use to protect yourself online and offline. Encryption refers to securing the information on your device so that others can't access it if you lose the device. Most phones and tablets will be encrypted by default, so I'm going to focus this video on laptops and computers. Encryption adds a layer of protection to your hard drive. You see, even though you may have a password to log into your computer, at a hardware level, your storage could be removed from your computer and plugged into another device. That device would not need your password to read what is on the drive. Encryption prevents this by jumbling up the data if you don't have the correct access keys when you're using the computer. Now these access keys are often handled invisibly and tied to your password. Most Mac devices will ship with encryption enabled. And if you want to check on it, you can go into System Settings, Privacy and Security, and then to File Vault. Your recovery key for File Vault will most often be linked to your Apple ID. Windows devices are a different story, with encryption only available on Windows Professional Editions. If you're on Windows Home and you deal with sensitive data, I'd highly recommend upgrading for around $100 to get all the features of Windows Pro. If you are on Windows Pro, you can enable BitLocker by opening Explorer, right-clicking on your C drive, and selecting Turn on BitLocker. I'd highly recommend saving your recovery keys to your Microsoft account. If you don't have that option, be sure to keep the keys somewhere safe. Don't ignore the recovery key step. You will not be able to get your data back without them if something goes wrong. It's rare, but sometimes a firmware update can break BitLocker and you'll need to enter your keys to get back into your machine. Otherwise, it's a paperweight. So in short, encryption is a very effective tool in securing your computers against theft and loss, but it must be done responsibly and you must save your recovery keys. Otherwise, you may just discover how secure it is and lock yourself out of the machine. I'd recommend saving them to your accounts online and then be sure that those accounts are well secured. Till next time, keep those questions coming.